I've been traveling around inside and outside of Turkey and Syria and this is one of the many projects that you can see behind me this, this building here set up by Children in the which is a UK based charity organization uh, they are doing a fantastic work here as a spectator as a outside of Children in Dean. I've seen this project from, from top to bottom they're getting tons of work coming in they've got over 135 sisters inside and outside we make two projects uh, uh, in this workshop. Uh, the first uh, project uh, for uh, we make uh, blanket and uh, hoodies and scarf and hat for uh, children uh, for inside. First, uh, we make a design. We choose design. Uh, then we cut this material. Uh, then we uh, sewing. Everybody here, women from Syria, they uh, lift uh, their houses and their works and uh, in Turkish uh, everything too expensive and uh, they need uh, work and uh, they need uh, money to live here. I was working with this job, I felt a lot better, I felt a lot better, and 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 I felt a lot better. Uh, the children and then uh, support us uh, in everything, in material and uh, and machines and everything. Children Dean started bread factory six months ago. This bread factory employs Syrians. Uh, we produce approximately 40 to 50,000 breads a day. This bread is distributed to families and children of Shaheed. Feast of Bilillah, we don't charge them any money. All the people who work in there are Syrian, Alhamdulillah. We're at the distribution point for our bread. Every day, bread is made in our factory and sent to different points. So at the moment, we're in a production of 50,000 breads. Approximately a day, we can increase this to 100, 150,000. We need flour. We need flour to make more bread. Uh, all the bread is distributed free. We have a good system of people, uh, network of people who are working with us. Uh, some are working for Sibila, some we employ. We urge each and every one of you to get involved. Alhamdulillah, we have a system in place. Anybody wants to come and see our system, please come. And if you want to join and contribute towards it, you're welcome. We're at uh, Children Dean School. We just distributed some top side to the kids. We have uh, 1,200 ch children here, 600 boys, 600 girls. Alhamdulillah, the school um, was affected by the war. Uh, we helped them to reestablish themselves. All the teachers here, Alhamdulillah, we're paying them for working here as well. We have at least about 25 teachers. Uh, education is very important. If you want to get involved, and how to support the school and also many schools like this as well. Get in touch with us at Children in Dean. At the moment, Children in Dean, we're sponsoring the school, whatever they need. At the moment, as you can see, we just distributed some clothes here for the children here. So, we just come to distribute some blankets to a, a family here who just escaped from a recent bombing in Halab. They arrived this morning and she took her kids, six children, uh, which one is the disabled daughter she has, and they've came here and seeks refuge. Alhamdulillah, we just found out now and we came here um, just giving some blankets and clothes and inshallah we're arranging to get some food for them as well. These are all no, people no, have just, no. all these people have just come now uh, from Halab because um, of the bombing happened there. So they're just living in makeshift places here. Yeah? I'm here on the border of Turkey in Syria outside a camp called Atma. I'm really sad to announce to you that today two children have lost their lives. One was a year old, another was barely a week and a half year old. I can only imagine how the parents are feeling now. It's, it's very sad that I have to report this to you, but I have to. So that you know how serious this matter is here. It's not a joke. It's not something that you can take lightly and think, oh, okay. Do not put this to another day. Our brothers and sisters, our children are dying inside. Take this matter very seriously.